the noise. It's cold in here. They're not too cold. Got it up to what? 60 degrees. Pretty cool. Alright, I'm in my shed. And hopefully this is the last video I'm doing on melting uh, sterling silver. I melted silver in the past. I came up with some ingots. A couple came out pretty good. A couple came out crummy. I took silver jewelry. Just uh, melting it down. Pretty experience. And I had a couple of bad ones. I ran out of molds, whatever. Anyway, I cast one in a round mold before. I want to recast it in, in a rectangular. I'm doing it in a mold made of old maple flooring. If you ever did flooring, you'll notice the bottom. Looks familiar. Um, the other ones I did, I finished off. I sanded the top. It doesn't matter as long as the inside is bare wood, clean, dry wood. It's got to be dry. If it's moist, you're going to have bubbling of uh, the, the moisture, the water in there, and it's going to cause distortion on the bottom of the ingot. But um, if it's dry, it seems to come out pretty good. So I, I cut these pieces, I glued it down, I'm making a three-quarter by an inch and a half ingot. Um, here's my crucible, if you call it that, my melting dish. Silica-fused, ceramic, whatever. The junk that's in there already is some borax and some impurities, but they tend to stick to the bottom. They tend to be drawn out of the silver. It's pretty cool. Anyway, I'm going to light up my map. Some of the others that I did, I did in different kind of wood. It boiled too much from the moisture in the wood and it caused like concave bottoms and I heated too much in the crucible. I got impurities stuck in the silver. I learned to heat it up, melt it, keep the heat going when you melt it. I pulled the heat away so I could show the melt or the core on the video and uh, in that little second it hardens up enough where it hurts it a little bit. So keep it going and then draw the flame away when you're done pouring because I thought I had leftover silver in the crucible. What I in effect was doing was melting out some more borax and uh, impurities into the silver. This tank's going empty but this should be enough to do this melt. Oh, that's 
explode on the top. I don't seem to get it all out. It still seems to be a safe. And what I learned also is just before you pour, heat the tip, and keep the rest of the stuff molten. So that it makes a nice smooth flow. how molten it is, it's pretty much ready to pour. So, here I go. And one more. Now, I let that burn out. It bubbles a little. There must be some moisture, even though the wood really feels... Uh, Seems to be dry. Come on, focus, focus. There's a couple of little black dots on top. I think that's still some impurities, but those could be picked off. I let it go pretty much till the flame is out. And then I'm gonna dump it in the water to cool it. All right, I'll set this up by the water. important to have a pan, something metal, like probably steel, stainless steel, whatever, on the bottom of the bucket. I actually dropped one and it went into the, in between the edge of the pan and the bucket and it almost melted a hole in the bucket. Right, we're almost out. Dump it. Come on. I'm gonna fill this up, put the fire out. That's a one time use mold. <coughs> Unless you want an ugly ingot. Alright, dig this out. Let's see what we got. Not, not bad, not bad. I'm gonna clean it up. But it's pretty, pretty smooth, pretty level. All right, put this on the side. I'll finish up later because I got more, more to pour. So I got this little buffer machine at our little toy store. HF, you know where that is, and some compounds to uh, apply to cut and polish. And let's see how we do with this little ingot. Right, that's the one I poured before. better. Now this blue is supposed to really polish it. And here's a softer cloth. So I'll put it on there. And this is pretty nice. Now I'll take my stamps that I bought at HF and uh, put 925 in the bottom of it and I'll store it away. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. <clears throat> See a little stamping set. 
not bad. All right, so maple, very dry maple. That's what I would use the next time I'm gonna melt silver into wood. Later, bye.